a corporate jet pilot who became a sailor after a tragic health complication. Come with us as we take a look at the amazing life of Bobby White, the creator of the YouTube channel Sailing Doodles. If there's a will to live, there's a way. Don't be mistaken by this R&B pop name. Bobby White had a great career as a corporate jet pilot working for wealthy families in Texas, and with a lavish career, nothing could go wrong, except it did. Bobby was struck with a bad stroke, which rendered him unable to even read again. His condition was bad and he had to leave all of this hard work behind. I can imagine the existential crisis he must have felt. It all just went away in the blink of an eye, but as they said, every cloud has a silver lining. After learning how to read again, he made a point to look for options, and so he began shuffling through careers, but nothing really appealed to him. But the man had to put food on the table, and that was when it dawned on him. You see, those days, sailing vlogs were very well received, and he thought maybe this could be his escape and his meaning to life. So, without a second thought in his mind, he sold everything he had and saw himself as a sailor. With nothing left, he got himself a home on sea and started his life from scratch with his pet dogs, Maverick and Goose. That was where the name of the channel came from Sailing Doodles. As you guessed it, they were both Labradoodles. He bought a 1984 37-foot CNC, and even though it was not a grand boat, after a couple of renovations here and there, he was ready to set sail. Bobby's a man who picked himself up from rock bottom to make it in life, and that's inspirational to me. Now that the rough seas were set, ready to set sail, they've been sailing ever since. Bobby started YouTube hoping to have a career in it, and with no 9 to 5, he was adamant about this career choice. Bobby and his friend Megan unrolled the sails and started their journey in Houston, Texas, and traced their way along the maps on the coast of the Florida Keys. It might seem like with Bobby, the party never ends and life is a literal journey, but YouTube at the core is an entertainment platform and it isn't always sunny. And what can I say? It was short-lived. They soon made their way to the Bahamas, but the rough seas wasn't meant for shallow waters, but the rough seas wasn't permanent either. I'm sure Bobby was saving to get a better ride as rough seas wasn't exactly intended for longer voyages, and the deeper draft made it impossible for them to sail on shallow waters, so getting a yacht was the next step. But things were fine for the rookie sailor until rough seas was left docked in Puerto Rico while Bobby was out sailing from St. Martin to Florida. Rough seas was caught in a hurricane which caused heavy damage to the hull and a broken mast. Now that he didn't have a ride anymore, he was stuck, but gladly, YouTube was still running and he had a fair amount of followers, which meant that he could support himself, but that could last for about a couple of weeks at most, and he didn't have enough to get himself a boat. With a low budget and tr a little anxiety, Thailand travel vlog was the plan he devised, and if you look at his travel vlog, you'll not get the slightest hint what's going on in his life, but luckily he met Ron Patson there, and he's the owner of Gulf Charters. They got well acquainted, and Ron gave him the task to get a sailboat from Vancouver and bring it back to Thailand. It was a 50-foot Beneteau, which they called the White Squall, and it had been in Vancouver for three years, and the time limit was generous. Unless it was back by August, I'm fine with whatever you do with it. That was the condition, and it's an old incident which happened back in 2018. I don't know if they had an amazing lifestyle, but they were working hard for it. So, Bobby went to Vancouver and picked his girlfriend Laura along the way in Washington. With a new plan in mind, he began renting the cabins on the White Squall and invited his subscribers to join him for a ride. The fans on the channel knew it was a great opportunity and they were more than happy to join them on their meet and greets. After all, the thing said and done, Bobby eventually returned White Squall and brought himself a CT-56 and named it Naughty Dogs. Their plans resumed and they made their way to the Bahamas like they originally planned, and there, the transmission blew up, causing fire on board. There were no casualties, and the Coast Guards were very responsive. They were without a boat again, but it's okay now, they charter boats. Bobby's life has taught me that we should never give up no matter how hard things get. There's always a way if you have the will. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more, and have a good day.